Before we begin today's video, I just want to give a quick shout out to Crunchyroll for featuring me on their Instagram series called My Anime Room, where they're showing off people's anime rooms. And I submitted a clip or a clip or a video, and they ended up using it. And just want to say thank you guys so much for using that, and thank you to you guys or everyone who has watched the video or commented, liked it, all that. I think right now there's over like three or four hundred comments, and so I can't. Get to all of them. Like when it first went out and they were getting comments and stuff like that, I was trying to respond to like all of them. And then in about like 10 minutes, I realized that it was just way too much. So I couldn't respond to everyone. I'm really sorry about that. But just want to say thank you to everyone who's like messaged me saying I have a cool room and stuff like that. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for everyone who's followed. Um, if you want to go check out that video on Instagram, if you haven't seen it yet, I'll put a link in the, in the description to Crunchyroll's Instagram or that um, Instagram post with the video if you want to go check it out. I also just want to say thank you guys so much. Um, as of recording this, um, we are at 71 subscribers, which is just insane. Uh, I think it was two days ago we were at 38 six i think i think it was 36 or 37 or something like that but within two days we now have like 71 subscribers and that's just crazy to me um just want to say thank you guys so much thank you for coming over and showing support to my channel um if you are here from instagram and stuff like that uh i just kind of want to let you guys know what i do on this channel i'm sure that you can guess because in my name it's jc's anime reviews uh, i'm sure the that kind of tells you exactly what I do. But yeah, I usually do anime reviews. Sometimes I do different videos. Like for example, um, uh, I think it was like about a month ago, I did like 10 anime to get through quarantine. I also recently did, um, I did it was like a random anime review where I reviewed a random anime. Uh, if you wanna check that out, I'll put links in the description and I'll show you how I watched a random anime and how you guys can check out a random anime as well put a link in the description to that but sometimes we do other videos besides just like reviews so um i gotta turn my phone off real quick so uh just want to let you guys know just look out for different anime videos they may not always be reviews but i hope that you guys like them and i hope that you enjoy this video next week or uh soon not, not next week but soon i'm planning on doing another one of those like top 10 anime things uh, I don't know if it's going to be, like, to get through quarantine, because I already did one of those, but I'm going to just do top 10 anime that I recommend. I, I don't know. I'll do something like that. But if you guys have any recommendations for anime that you think I should include on this list, uh, let me know in the comments. And if you have any recommendations for anime that you think I should watch, let me know in the comments. Or a any that you want to see me review, uh, let me know in the comments below. I've already gotten recommended a bunch of different anime on Instagram. But, yeah, if you guys want to see me review a certain one, uh, just let me know in the comments below. So, yeah, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And also, I'm sure that some of you have noticed that my hair is a lot shorter than in the Instagram video and in every video on YouTube. Well, that's because I decided to cut it short because I don't know when the next time is I'm going to see a barber and be able to get my hair cut because of quarantine and stuff like that. So I figured just cut it really short, and I actually don't think that it looks that bad but just wanted to do that just wanted to let you guys know uh, that that's what's happening i haven't gone crazy and just started shaving my head off or shaving my hair off completely <laughs> it was on purpose okay so i hope that you guys enjoy the video hey everyone how's it going my name is jordan and welcome to jc's anime reviews and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the movie a silent voice i watched this movie recently and this movie is um, it's kind of special to me because, I know this is kind of silly, but because in, it was my first time doing like, it was like a Discord movie night thingy. Yeah, I can explain what that is, but basically, um, a friend of mine, or who I met through Twitch, Electricity Wave, uh, I'm in his Discord server or whatever, um, shout out to the Storm community, <laughs> um, and basically every week or whatever they do, like a movie night or and just watched like a random movie and it was my first time being a part of one and we ended up watching or we watched the silent voice and i don't know it was just a really nice experience and i just felt like i had to share that with you guys so yeah um that's really special my first time being a part of like a discord movie night thing um i've actually seen this movie twice 
I watched it in the Discord or for that movie night or whatever. And then the next day I watched it again because I liked it so much. So I'm excited to talk about this with you guys and I'll share my thoughts on it. If you guys seen the movie, um, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And yeah, okay, so let's get started. This movie revolves around Shoko Nishimiya, a grade school student who's deaf. She transfers into a new school where she's bullied by her classmates, especially Shoyo Ishida. And I mean, the bullying that this kid does to this girl is, it's pretty bad. Like, it's some of the worst that I've ever seen before, or in, I guess, an anime, I don't know. But, um, it's pretty bad. He, like, he'll make fun of her, he'll take out or her hearing aids and like toss it around like even throws it in the trash at one point like he's pretty bad like he's one of the worst bullies in anime probably it's kind of sad or like heartbreaking to see because like it's pretty bad and you you feel really bad for um shoko i think was her name yeah you feel really bad for her or really bad for this girl who's being bullied and it ends up getting to the point where she transfers to another school and as a result shoya is ostracized and bullied himself so um, after she transfers or whatever, um, his friends start bullying him. And now it's not because he was being so bad. The f reason why his friends like are bullying him or whatever is because basically when this girl's mother tells the school about what's going on, um, the school finds out that it was him. And there were it wasn't just him. There were other um, classmates doing it. But basically everyone else who was doing it basically said that it was him that was doing it and basically pinned or like made it seem like he was doing everything that was really really bad which i mean he was doing pretty bad stuff but the other people were a part of it too and basically they ended up doing that they very much like keep their distance from him and they end up starting to bullying or bully him too and he doesn't really have any friends after this and you fast forward like a few years later and he's older now and he basically he like kind of grew up i don't know how many years went by but during this time he had like no friends and basically when he's or he's older after the few years he feels like terrible for this thing that he did to this girl um like the bullying like he just feels so bad he's very much like traumatized by it and he's um trying to like redeem himself so um, when he's older, he ends up um, tracking this girl down and even learns some sign language to try to communicate with her just to kind of like redeem himself. And basically what ends up happening is um, they start like, he starts like wanting to see her and like kind of becoming friends with her. He's kind of like questioning even if he's even like allowed to be her friend because of all these terrible things that he did to her. I really, really enjoy this movie. Um, I think that it did a really good job with telling the story and with all the characters. And when this movie starts out, you very much hate Shoya, the bully. Like, you just hate him. You don't like the stuff that he's doing to this girl. And it does a very good job at basically, like, when he's older and he's feeling bad about doing this thing to her. And you can tell that he's changed or, like, still even trying to change. It does a really good job at making you care about him. After, like, basically, like, you hate him in the beginning of this movie, and you really start to care about him and all these other characters. And I really, really like that about the show. Or not the show, it's a movie. Sorry, it's been a while since I reviewed an anime movie. I think the last one was Your Name, which was, like, two months ago. Or no, Nin Ninja Scroll. I don't remember when that was, but Ninja Scroll was the last anime movie I reviewed. I think. I think. I, I don't know. We'll go. I can go back and check. But I haven't reviewed an anime movie in a long time, so sorry about that. And also, um, this show does, there's something else that it does really good, um, it's with the girl Shoko, the, or the deaf girl, um, I don't think I've ever really been able to relate so much to a character in anime this much, because, um, so basically she goes through, um, she goes through a lot of, um, stuff herself, like a lot of upsetting things, because, of this like disability like not being able to hear and i was able to relate to her in that way because i myself as a, have a disability uh, i'm sure so most of you who watch me probably know i talked about it in my first video but i have like duchenne's muscular dystrophy and it makes it so my body and muscles and stuff are weaker and i can't walk and basically that's why I was able to relate to her so much because seeing all the difficulties she goes through because of having like a disability and even like there's one point 
or even like feeling like bad for the other for the people around you and feel and like even feeling like you're making their life dif- more difficult because um you can't do some of the stuff that other people can or like basically they have to like kind of help you with stuff a lot more and in that way i felt like i could relate to her a lot because she goes through this very much with this like disability or being deaf and it very much like affects her life and there's some actually like really sad moments when she's talking about this and i don't think i've ever cried this much when i was watching a movie i think it was mostly because of how much i could relate to the person but um i guarantee you that if you watch this you'll probably cry it kind of depends on who the person is but like when we were watching it in the discord there were a lot of people or at least from like typing saying that they were crying and like it's a very it ends up getting very emotional and you just really really care about these characters and i just thought that they did a fantastic job with that and i was able to relate to the characters which i really really like when i can like relate to a character in an anime i end up liking it a lot more because i don't know just because it's cool relating to an or a anime character or just any relating to anyone is really cool but yeah this is um it's a really beautiful anime um also the music i thought the music like every scene i thought they like chose the right music if that makes sense like for the right emotions or right situation that was going on they just had i think they had a really good job with the music but yeah i think to wrap this up let me just tell you guys my or what i thought about it so um i really enjoyed this movie it's very beautiful it has a very good character or cast of characters sorry that's what i was trying to say it has very good characters very good at telling stories very good at making you feel emotional and i would highly recommend checking this out so i'm gonna give a silent voice an a plus so yeah um i really really enjoyed this movie i loved it so much it's one of my favorite anime movies of all time it's up there with your name i think i might like your name a little bit more but it is definitely up there it's really really good i would watch it again i've seen it twice already but i would watch it again so yeah i really hope that you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like subscribe comment or let me know if you've seen this anime let me know what you thought of it let me know if it made you cry and yeah um this was a lot of fun talking about this i'm really happy that we watched or that i watched this because i wasn't or i was i had heard of this movie and i was like planning to watch it at some point and then i just happened to watch it and i loved it so i ended up making a video on it so yeah um it's on netflix right now uh, i believe that it released in like back in 2016 but right now it's on netflix so if you have a netflix account definitely check it out there i don't know if it's anywhere else but um it's on netflix right now so that's where i watched it so yeah um i'll put links in the description to netflix or i'll do some research and see if it's on other streaming services it'll most likely only be on netflix because when netflix is or when netflix usually gets like a movie or an anime or an anime or a movie or whatever sometimes they it's like a netflix original and it's only on there or like netflix bought the rights to it uh, something like that but it'll most likely only be on netflix but i'll check it out and yeah so you'll find links in the description for it and yeah so i hope that you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time bye